Hey guys, welcome to a new episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. And today, we are gonna be completing, well, the first half of Snowhead because this dungeon is actually quite long and uh, we wanna stay on track. So, first of all, there is a wolfer right here. I'm gonna beat the absolute crap out of him. And those two punches will do it as soon as we get him to try and attack. Come on, hit me. Hit me. Yeah, you can't handle me. I'm brilliant. Now, yes, there's one door locked, one door frozen, and one we can actually go through. So, to see if there was any magic, which sadly there wasn't. Now, these guys are a huge, huge, huge pain in the butt. So what I recommend doing is just get the dump out of here. And that is the issue with that. If you don't time it right, that's what's going to happen to you. Now, there is a few things that we need here. Mainly just the bow and arrow at this stage. But that happens. But that's completely okay. Mainly because Goron Link is immune to fire damage. This is excellent. Now, we need to grab this stray fairy when possible. Okay. And I'll just grab that when I get to the other side, up at the top. So, let us quickly head up here. And hope for the best, shall we? <laughs> we have a lot to get through today, so I'm just going to try and get this done as quickly and as smoothly as possible. And let's just check, do I have a... Yes, I do have a fairy, that's awesome. Because going in here without a fairy is essentially suicide when you're doing a three-hot run. Unless you're actually good at this game. Which I don't think I really qualify yet until I beat this three-hot run. Okay. You beat that, that's fine. Sweet. Okay, now you may have noticed... There's another fairy under the ledge right there. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Excellent. Now that we've got both of those two, we need the Great Fairy Mask. We don't need the Mask of Truth yet. Just chuck that on, and we'll be able to pick up these two stray fairies. Now, what I like to do from here is jump over here, and we can easily pick up a third stray fairy fairly quickly. Uh, if we can just come in here. Yep, there we go. Now we can leave again. Can't do too much in there as of yet. But a little bit later, we can come back and do a bit more, which will be good. So for the moment, just come in here, which is the central room. You'll be in this room a lot throughout this dungeon. Because, yeah, if you can't tell by this basic layout, we'll be able to make this platform in the middle go higher or go smaller and the like. Now, uh, what do I want to do first? I mean, we could go downstairs, but we're going to do that anyway, so I guess we'll just go through this door here. Now, yes, this room can get pretty spooky, but the first thing I want you guys to do is, well, take off the Great Fairy Mask, because we frankly don't need that at the moment, but there is, I believe, the dungeon map in here? No, it's a small key. Just it's even better. I just remember there was a chest in there. I honestly don't know my way around this game 100%, which is kind of odd when you think about it, because I am making a Let's Play. But yes, I am trying to make the best uh, informative guide I possibly can. So you can just bear with me on that. Now, there is actually another stray fairy we can get right off the bat. I'm not sure if it's in this room or the other room, though. Yeah, it's in the other room. Alright, well... When we come back in here, we can get a stray fairy from that chest, um, so that shall be good. But now that we have that small key, we can actually head back to the start, uh, and try and get some more stuff done. We, yes, we just came through this door, and we're already leaving. Yeah, that's pretty much going to be a common gimmick throughout this temple. You can just drop here, it doesn't really 
matter. You won't take any fall damage. Just make sure you land uh, a little bit safely and basically just try not to get, take any fall damage because any damage can be detrimental in a three heart run. A quarter of a heart can be life threatening. So, we definitely want to keep our health about us. You know, yes, the wolf will respawn every single time we come back in that room. But that's okay for the moment. What is an issue though, is whilst it looks like they are inside the ice, they're not. But yeah, they're, they're really easy to take care of. Just literally swing at them when they're about to attack you, and you'll be set. Now there is a treasure chest we can pick up in this room, and I don't mean the big one in the middle. Um, but we need to get rid of this wolfo first. Come on. One more hit. Okay, I'm wrong. But that is all done. Now yes, we want to open this treasure chest and see what's in here. Now there is a... Uh, see that box up there? Yeah, we need to pop that baby open right now. So just grab these arrows because we basically can. And uh, Blast Mouse doesn't really do it for me. So I'm gonna damage myself a little bit, probably. Yeah. Thought that was gonna hurt me, which it did, but we managed to get this stray fairy from it. So I guess it's all worth it in the end. But yes, we need to keep on moving. So drop a bomb, run away for a bit, and wait for that to blow. Yep, there we go. We can now head to the next level. So we will be jumping on that now. And yes, it is currently 12 o'clock at night, and if you're wondering why I'm so energetic, it is simple answer is Red Bull. I'm not even kidding, it's... <laughs> that's my answer. Okay, now, you need a lens of truth right here. Great Fairy Mask. Oh, I'm, I'm wrong. Alright, we'll take the lens of truth off then. Because we need to hit these icicles. Twice, I believe. And they drop like that. So this can be really helpful because uh, we basically need to do this a bunch of times to progress. Like that. Yeah. Not too difficult, honestly. And yeah, that, that should be it, really. Like, we don't have to get these ones, but this, I just find it handy to do so. Um, and I'm aware there's still one there, but I think I'll leave that for the moment. Just jump through here and grab ourselves another stray fairy. Wrong side, of course it was. But yes, that's our fifth one. So not too many to go. So that's quite good. Um, we're gonna have to get our Goron Moss Gallant now. This is why I'm so grateful that we got an extra item slot in the 3D version because Honestly, it can be quite annoying that we have to keep switching in and out of our items. Now, yeah, there is a, um, a locked door here. We just got the key for that, so let's just go straight through. This room is a huge pain in the butt. I'm not gonna milk it. Okay, just take that off, because really don't need it. But what you do need here is the Lens of Truth. So, what I like to do... This. This. There's a hole in the ceiling. Yeah. This gets annoying. I'm gonna have to deal with these poles first though. So I'm just gonna do that. So let's try and amend that, which I think we just did quite well. So take the Gora Mask off. I swear there's a stray fairy up there. I 
I swear they're okay. That's weird. Well, I'm thoroughly confused. Yeah, there is one. Okay, well, that's that's quite strange. But we're gonna have to do this. And I believe we're on a timer. Actually, no, we're not on the timer for this bit. Uh, this bit's fine. I'm gonna roll. So yeah, you can see bubbles fly up there. That means I guess we popped it. So let's just claim our reward. Which we didn't really do anything to get, but yeah. That works. Now, what we want to do for sure is smash these. Grab as much as you can because this bit can be kind of annoying. Yeah, you need a... Jump on that. Unless I got that completely wrong. Which I probably did, because it's me. Hmm. This would be so easy when we get the uh, item of the temple, because we can just go straight through. But, um, can't do that yet. Okay, so we need, obviously, the Goron Mask. Oh, I get it. Okay. Okay, yes, that's raised. We need to bring this down. Oh my gosh. Jump on that link, come on. I'll need to fix that up again. I figured it out there. It's honestly not too bad of a puzzle. Um, so basically, yes, the, the colors are what dignify each, um, dignify, not, that's probably not the best word for it. Basically, um, they match up. The green ones are timed, these ones are standard, but yes, they match. So, the one over there is going to go down, but we have a set time limit to get back up before everything changes back to how it was. So, we obviously need to get up here ASAP, otherwise things will time out and we will be screwed. But, as you saw just then, we're fine. Ah, uh, jeez, now what do we do? Okay. Well, I screwed that up. I think that's pretty safe to say. However, if we stand on this right here, you can spawn a chest. That can be kind of helpful, in my opinion. Oh, crap. Let's get out, let's get out. That's not good, we should just leave <laughs> before anything worse happens. Yeah, that area is kind of scary. I'm just going to cut back to when I get back up to where I was up to because that was honestly kind of embarrassing. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so we're back and hopefully this time we do not screw up as badly. Now, we just want to make sure this is uh, completely central, which it is now. and. Hold our analog stick completely central this time, so we don't have any more mishaps. That was kind of embarrassing. Yeah, let's... Wow. Breakout. Breakout. Okay, that was also kind of embarrassing. 
So let's not screw up again in this episode. That would be nice. Is this just magic? Yeah, it's straight magic. Okay. Well, we can make that jump now, but we can also go in here, which is what I want to do currently. Oh, no, I guess we don't. Because we need the item of the dungeon first, which I believe we're about to get. So hold on to your hat, boys. It's about to get messy. Bruh. Come on, boys. And yes, this is the mini boss. Wizro. This guy is a huge pain in the butt. Honestly, recommend you jump in a corner and try and snipe him. Because God knows he's going to do it to you. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Did not mean to do that. Now wait for him to start dancing before you shoot him. He's honestly pretty easy. You don't have to worry too much about him. Just make sure you hit the dick. Otherwise, he will destroy you. Now he starts doing this. His second phase is honestly quite easy. Just look for the ones actually spinning. Should be this one because he's actually a different color. His N64 skins. Quite simply. Uh, hello. One more shot should do it. Just gotta find him. Where? Oh. Well, we survived that without taking a hit, so, yeah, that's the mini-boss, well, the first mini-boss. He's honestly not that difficult. So, yes, we end up getting the item of the dungeon from this guy, so I'm keen to see what that is. Well, obviously, I knew what it was, but it's handy to uh, actually be able to use this finally, because ice arrows are good. Fire Arrow, I mean, jeez. Ice Arrow was, uh, the one from Ocarina of Time. What am I talking about? But yes, now we can do a lot more stuff in this temple. Which I guess you would kind of hope because it's the rest of the temple. Anyways, um, you actually can't use the Lens of Truth and the Fire Arrows at the same time because they are both magic, um, using skills. But the best thing about them... You kill these guys in one hit. And also, if you melt the ice, that eye closes, and that becomes a solid platform, which is very handy. Trust me on that. Now, there is um, a couple of things that we need to get in this room. Mainly one treasure chest. So, we're going to turn... Yep, Lens of Truth. Oh, shit. This should be the dungeon map. Yeah, I know I missed this before, that was kind of bad, but, um... Yeah, I'll show you what happens when you have... Oh, well, okay, maybe it only does it in the 3D version. Um, when you're in the 3D version, instead of using the fire arrows, which are obviously magic arrows, um, it just uses normal arrows when you have the Lens of Truth equipped or, for that matter, any other magic item. Now, let's try not to slide too much this time and slide off because that would be rather annoying. But yeah, this uh, isn't too strenuous. Just make sure you're kind of centered. And you turn on 90 degree angles, so you should be fine in theory. And just grab this. And honestly, we need to go back down now. Yes, what a shock. Downstairs. In this temple you have a very kind of up-down sort of game. Anyways, shoot this guy in the face. Shoot the next one in the face. That's all we need. Cause I'm pretty... No, I'm, I'm possibly wrong. I, no, I was under the impression of something down. Oh, wait. Need to kill all of them first. Hang on. There we go. I was like, I'm sure something appears, but yeah. You have to kill all three of them first. And then this chest appears. What's in it? I guess we'll find out. Oh, what a surprise. Another small key. 
Yeah, that's very important, obviously. So we need to go through here again, when we can actually, you know, use the door. Um, and you can kind of take these on in any order, really. You could actually have done this before, and I just forgot about it. So yeah, that's a thing. <laughs> I forgot to do something. What a surprise. Because you could just get your normal arrow, stand next to it, boom, straight through that, but doesn't really matter too much. I didn't miss anything, per se. And now we wait for this guy to just attack again so I can finish him off. Why did that not hit? That was dumb. Yeah, fire arrows, they hurt this guy, what a surprise. Now let's hope there's some pots in- yes. Another hot please, thank you. Okay, now we need to head in here. Again. Oh, wrong one. <laughs> yeah, they, they hurt this guy a lot. Pretty sure it's a two shot, but hey, we're pretty much out of magic, so. And, but thankfully, this guy drops a lot of hearts, so he kind of makes up for it. Kinda. Kinda. Now we need to get that switch as soon as we get rid of that guy. And we're done. Yeah. Not that difficult, surprisingly. Now, I should just quickly mention, the slide physics that we're about to deal with are awful. You'll see what I mean. My god, you will see what I mean. Anyways. Yep. Slides all the way across. It's basically just an ice block puzzle. You'll be used to those if you ever played Ocarina of Time because you dealt with them in the Ice Cavern. Not really too difficult, to be completely honest with you, but rather just annoying. No, no, we didn't want to go up. See, this, this is the most annoying thing because, because there's no jump button in Zelda games, it can be really annoying because it jumps automatically sometimes when you just want to push something. At least that's what I find. Um, but you guys could completely disagree with that. Feel free to. That's just my personal, um, opinion. Oh my gosh, yeah, see, that, that just keeps happening to me. So, I should really just be a little bit, little bit more patient. But, uh, good luck with that happening. Alright, so we're just gonna, actually, that's probably enough. I can probably get up there from this. Yeah, just do that. That works pretty well. Ouch. <laughs> and yeah, that should stay there from when we moved it earlier. Oh, hello, Pots. I missed you guys. Alright, now open this. Another stray fairy. Yeah, we're qu uh, catching up to the total that we need quite quickly. Now that we're just back here, we can just kind of laze around and shoot whatever else we need to shoot. Like this thing. Yeah, kind of easy. Uh, where that guy? That's here, yep. So now, you see that switch behind the bars? Yeah, we obviously need to hit that. That will be basically the most important thing in this episode. But you'll say that for yourself in a second. Now, I hope this is enough. Because I need to kill everything in this room for a start. Yeah, that's, that's kind of important. Now, we're going to go grab that. And try not to fall off these ice blocks. Which probably will happen, because I'm stupid. And terrible platforming on occasion, so that's our 10th stray fairy. 
not even up to the third level. There's four floors, I believe. Oh. Alright, looks like I'm going to show this off, after all. There is a Deku section of this dungeon. And it only really happens when you fall down here. Not too bad. Just basically turn into a Deku, jump in this, fly out. So yeah, not too strenuous, but can be rather annoying if you continue to fall down like I'm probably going to. But actually, we only need to make two jumps to finish everything here. Is there a switch over there? Oh. It's looking like it's going to roll over to the next day pretty soon, so we might want to quick this up a little bit. So that's one, two, three. Okay, so that should open now. And we kind of need to make it through this door pretty badly. <laughs> Yeah. Alright. So just stand on there. And now, we're going to do something a little bit crazy. Yep, that goes straight to the top. You can reset that by going to the bottom. What a surprise. Whoa! Yeah, you shouldn't really be too bothered by whatever happens here. You know, you just want to get out of here ASAP, because as you saw before, this place is kind of crazy. Alright, so we're going to try and head up here ASAP. It shouldn't really be an issue. Try and get up there before the end of the day. Because we really don't have that much time left in the video, and I want to make it to the third floor, so that would be nice. And yeah, this place can be honestly kind of confusing, so it helps if you do have a guide to follow. But hey, it's not as confusing as these next two temples, let me assure you of that. If you're looking for a headache, you will find the next temple very fun. Not looking forward to that if you can't tell. Alright, so, the one of the second day, 48 hours remain? Yep. That's fine, and yes, what I was talking about before, when you come into the next room, when I can actually go in, um, it's not so bad anymore. Mainly because now that you have the fire arrows, boom, easy. You can literally walk over there. So that's what, exactly what we're going to do. <laughs> Alright, now, we have to become Goron Link again, and punch some blocks. Now you might be wondering, uh, Matt, how do we get up there now? Basically, what you have to do is fall off here, which surprisingly went well. I'm actually surprised. But yeah, you needed to knock those two blocks out. And head in here. Jump on this platform again. And ride the elevator. Of course. Ride the elevator all the way back up. Which doesn't take too long. Just waste a bit of your magic. So, that's not too bad. So we're up here now. And we're going to head around. Not the end of the world if you fall off here, which has happened to me a lot, mind you. Um, because we need to open up this path here. Alright, so that's probably going to do us for today. Please leave a like, comment, or subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next episode where we worry a little bit more about this temple. See you guys then. Goodbye.